Hello and welcome to this introductory video for Fusion 360. Hopefully for many of you this will just be a recap on some things that you learned last year, but it's always good to have a recap and go through some of those things. For some of you, this will be your first time using Fusion. So I'm just going to go through some of the real basics. Okay, first things first, along the top we have the toolbar. So if I'm talking about the toolbar, this is where I'm talking about. We then have the workspace. This whole area here is your workspace. You can control what's in the workspace by clicking on the word design. And then you can have some of the other options here. Majority of the time, we're gonna be in the design workspace. We also have the data panel. If you click on the data panel, if yours doesn't come up like this, uh, it might go to the home, which is like this. You can click on your first projects and then you'll be able to access all of your saved work here. So I'm gonna click on Cactus Holder. One of my pet peeves is people leaving this open. It's a, it's a waste of space. If you're on a small screen as it is, make sure you drop this down by pressing the X. Here you can see that I've drawn something in 3D uh, and this is your general workspace where you'll see different things. Over here, you've got the browser. Now the browser shows all of the various different components that are in here and it shows you what is visible and what is invisible with this button here. So if I press this, it will open up the orange origins. If I press it again, it'll go away. If I press the arrow next to this, it will show me all of the different bodies, AKA the different parts that are separate and I can hide those individually if I wish. You can also select these to do other things. Uh, for this particular project, I've also got what's called a canvas, and that's a picture that I brought in, uh, which is there. And you've also got the sketches. So this is what I used to create and draw all of these pieces. This is what I extruded to make all of this. Um, down the bottom here, we've got what's called the timeline, and this is... Um, all of the various things that I've done in this project from start to finish in the order that I did them. Now, this can slightly be edited. Things can be dragged around forward and backwards, and you can also travel back in time and add something in and then travel forward in time and that will have affected the project. Um, this is a part of the of, of Fusion that I would not recommend playing around with too much. It can go very wrong. The only time you might wanna go here is to right click on something and either get rid of it or press edit to change it. Up in the top right corner here, you have what's called the Orbit Cube. Now the Orbit Cube allows me to move around the 3D environment um, in set positions. So if I want to see the front, I can press front and it will give me a front view. If I want a top view, I can click up here. I can also use these arrows to rotate things. And if I end up in a, a very strange view where everything's a bit peculiar, there's a nice little home button here and that will take you back to the standard view. So this is the orbit cube. That's most of the basic things that we're going to be looking at and using. Um, and there'll be the things that I'm going to be referring to. What I would really like you to do now is you should have opened up and you should have started with a uh, new document called Untitled. All I want you to do is press the Save button and then name this something sensible. Now, we're doing what's called a Focus Practical Task. So you could write FPT and then write your name. So I'm gonna write my full name in here. Now obviously you're gonna write your name, not my name. Make sure it's saving it to the correct file to your projects and click save. Now you can press the drop down button here and you can change where it goes. All of my stuff is mostly in uh, Douglas's first projects. So I'm gonna press save and save that in there. I'd also like you to press the I next to the origins to show the origins on the screen. And at this point here, I want you to take a screenshot of the whole work area from the top corner 
all the way down to the bottom corner. Now I'm on a Windows machine, so you can see my date and time is in the bottom right. Yours will probably be in the top. Get the whole screen, take a screenshot of the whole screen, and I'd like you to put that in the document that I've talked to you about in class, please. And then you're gonna move on to the next tutorial video. Uh, see you soon, thank you very much, and goodbye.